Rewind one year. This was Ukrainian Independence Day in Donetsk. Combined Russian separatist forces parading captive government forces through the occupied city centre. It was a ghoulish event. The show sparked accusations of war crimes, a violation of the Geneva Convention. The militants alongside, wielding bayonets for added menace, the soldiers' heads bowed. Hundreds of spectators hurled objects and abuse. Many of the troops had defended Donetsk airport for months, against all odds. Kremlin-backed TV in Russia broadcast these images live, including the soldiers' faces. Shouts of fascists and killers rang out from the crowd, terms which echo the Kremlin's narrative of events in Ukraine. Two street cleaning machines followed behind the prisoner parade, spraying water to cleanse the streets, a theatrical gesture which echoed scenes from World War II following the liberation of Soviet cities from Nazi occupation. As this year's Independence Day in Ukraine approaches, there were fears of a repeat display. But according to a senior Ukrainian defence official, the militant leadership in Donetsk have agreed not to hold any parade. Vasily Budik, an advisor to the deputy defence minister, said on Facebook, At this point there is an agreement. There will be no prisoner parade, no shooting of our prisoners, and there is an agreement on the humane treatment of prisoners. Some 170 people remain imprisoned by militant forces. About half of those are Ukrainian military personnel. That's according to Ukrainian MP and journalist Irina Gerashenko.